I think it's funny that we went through that stretch where we were getting everything and, and everything was easy on the offensive end or it, it felt easy and uh, then go to the tournament and Sacramento State, you know, we don't have any practice time when we're at the tournament, right. play three games. Uh, Sacramento State plays so crazy that you can't run anything. Then Montana really clogged it up and I thought, you know, after the third day of really not practicing, we, we really got stagnant a little bit on our offense and tried to really work on that over the last two days. Um, and now to just have another chance to kind of regroup. And, and I know we can be better offensively. Obviously, I don't think there's very many times we can, Steph can go over 10 and we can still win. So I think it's a real statement to our team and the bench that came off and, and made some really great plays and, and just willed us to this win. And, and, um, and again, I continue to like this team. We can play a lot of different ways, a lot of different styles. We defended a, a very solid team tonight really well. You know, our press really threw them out of rhythm and uh, change the tempo of the game probably a little bit for them on the offensive end. And I just love that about this group. We just, it's not exactly how we want to play. We like it to be a little lot, a lot more finesse, but we, we, we took on a real physical team and, and uh, ended up, you know, just enough to win. It's just a good defensive team. I mean, they, they're long and they're ath more athletic than you think. And, you know, they were into us and, and and we so we could but we couldn't rip drive past them because we couldn't athletically get past them, and they got to a double team really fast and we couldn't find shooters so they were covering us up really well and and um, you know I just again I think so much of this time of the season is guard play and I think our guards just couldn't create a shot for anybody uh, until they back you know I think they kind of softened up a little bit just the nature of the game I think. They were, they were unbelievably into us early, and I just think we were able to run more stuff that were, we could at least make some passes in the second half. But it took a while. We tried to run some stuff early in the second half and didn't get it, and that's what took their lead. And, and again, it was just we made a couple of subs, kept kind of grinding away, and it, we really, I think, just got fortunate in transition to find um, Courtney two different times to, to draw it in and to really give us a lot of energy. But it was that. It wasn't really set offense that did that. That was in transition that we found her. And I have a tremendous amount of confidence in Kylie and Courtney, even when they missed some shots early. And uh, I just thought Colorado State did a great job of, of defending us in our set things, you know, in, in the things that we were trying to do. I think Kylie got free in the first half for one, but we just weren't getting great looks. And, and finally, again, I, I don't think it was – it was just being ready and, and spacing the floor well. And I think Dee Dee probably made the assist on both of them. And she found, she found Courtney those two possessions and then I think later found Katie. So um, it was really out of, not a lot out of offense that got that. It was just, uh, you know, pushing the ball up with a better tempo than we played against Montana, trying to get us in, ourselves with a little bit better energy coming across half court. And, and it just, we just got lucky and, and got freed up and, and made some baskets that, gave us life and gave us some energy to, to at least compete a little bit better as we went down the stretch. I look at Dee Dee as a guard and, and again, I think um, against a team that's really guarding you tight on the perimeter, you have to have somebody that can make some rip drives and get to the rim or at least make a play at the rim. And Dee Dee, if she didn't make it, you know, she got fouled a lot because she drew a lot and right. she's long and she can get shots up. Um, and and Lindsay, you know, she has the challenge that they sag off of her and there's really no place to drive and she just forced her will into those last two that she got. So, uh, but it's what you need. You don't, they got us settling for jump shots. I think for a large part of the game, they, they tempt you into taking shots that you're not in, in, uh, in position for offensive rebounding. You know, it's still 15 seconds on the shot clock and, and we really gave into that a lot and took some of those shots. and. And I think once we started ducking our head a little bit, even Katie, I remember Katie coming off a uh, kind of a screen and, and got to the elbow and made a little runner. And all of those getting into the paint really, I think, softened their defense up and, make, and got us to the rim. And, and I think that's probably what wins the game much more than anything else that we did. I just hugged our AD and Sarah, both ADs, and I know they probably did some backflips to get us to host. So. And the team, I was able to kind of surprise them with that news in the locker room. And, and it, we're really thrilled to be able to play again at home. And, you know, again, this was what I was hoping for early in our season, that we could win some games and get going on a little bit of a roll. 
and maybe create a little bit more excitement and get more people in Greeley a little bit more excited about our program. And it didn't work out that way. We were up and down in the preseason, couldn't really gain that momentum to get people totally interested and, and, and really did the last two or three weeks of the season and have um, had a million emails and texts from p fans, um, Northern Colorado fans that are just excited for our team. And I just think this is a real statement that, that we had a lot of people come out to this game today. And I think a lot of people will follow us on Sunday. And, and that's I want that for our seniors more than anything. I think they're super excited to be back in that gym and, and putting on that uniform again. And, and again, let's just see how it goes. I think we can play better. And know we're going to play a super South Dakota team. And, and, um, but we're excited to be able to do it again and do it at home.